Salutation Lego lovers, welcome to the Soul Brick channel and in today's video we are going to work on a train station and I ask you the viewers for some suggestions from which kind of intellectual property intellectual property I should get inspired because most of my custom Lego city is inspired by a Swedish uh, children's book illustrator called Jan Love. but I'm also looking into uh, other worlds and such you can see example over here is that's from tailspin that airplane over there if you re remember that old disney and made it show i do have the new street car from lego i think it's more of a small train than a tram if you like reminds me of, of the trains they have in uh, england uk which i visited this summer and here's the old passenger train from 2010. It's quite a bit larger than this one, but I do like the scale of this one. <laughs> this is where the train station will be, right on the edge of my layout. And it's important when I build stuff on the edge of my layout that the stuff there is sturdy so it won't fall off. When I'm reaching over here, it's super easy that something just breaks down and fall off, which is super annoying to be honest. Now the new streetcar did come with uh, this uh, small uh, train station so I want to incorporate parts of it to this build. Now the suggestions I got from you guys was uh, pretty much unanimous. Uh, either Thomas the Tank, Tom, Thomas the Tank Engine or uh, Richard Scarry's Busy Town. And I'm leaning more to Richard the Scarry's Busy Town. Of course we all know that uh, Thomas the Tank Engine is uh, Brixar's favorite TV show of all time. So that would be a nice homage but I do like the Busy Town. I grew up with those books so I really want to go that route. Obviously I don't have a lot of space to work with here so it's going to be quite a thin narrow build but that's a fun exercise and of course we all know that uh, in general especially when it comes to Lego City the buildings are usually quite narrow. Here's the platform and as you can see I've extended it with the two studs here so it's uh, an overhang and that's actually pretty good because the, the plus side of that is that that's uh, hiding this play feature a bit more than the regular set. At the same time it's uh, totally visible so you know that it's uh, there. What it does is that it extends the platform here. So <laughs> this is uh, supposed to align with the doors on the train. Look at that. And as some of you might have noticed, I've made this custom. Yeah, look at the train. It's changed all the red 2x4s to white instead. I just uh, think that looks a little bit more unique. The studs are showing and that's where the buildings will be placed. And I divided them into three separate buildings. So this is the first one. This is uh, actually a cafe now. And you have the ticket machine here on the side which is from the streetcar set and I'm a big fan of ventilation. Here's the back side. Not really much going on because it's super narrow to stand back here and I wanted to have that space for people to be able to walk behind there. So I think this looks uh, rather nice as it is. A bit of a scramble to get the roof working in that dark green. It's a rare color in my collection. The scale for this booth I feel is a bit smaller than my other buildings which is a bit bigger or larger but it kind of works with the scale of this smaller streetcar train. The next the building, the middle building is the touristy shop where you can buy your postcard but also it acts as a newsstand. You can get your maps over here. And uh, I also think that it's important that we have a physical place where you can talk to a real person and buy tickets because the elderly, meaning me that is over 40 years old, sometimes have troubles buying tickets, especially when I'm in other countries. And some ventilation on the back there, so you can buy your tickets here, but also over here. That's a service. Please take note of this if you work with public transportation. We have the final building, that's where you can buy your suitcases, bags and that kind of good stuff from this very nice looking lady. And well, this building is of course really green 
and their uh, suitcases went out on a trip of their own. And back here you can see the train uh, system. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, pop it in its little place over here. Together, side by side, they form one single building. It's basically like Voltron. All in all, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. Of course, this bench here is from the original set, so I reused that. I'm super happy with how this turned out, so let me know what you think in the comments section. And with that said, make sure to stay out of the nonsense, stay awesome, and please subscribe.